Hello everyone, this is Shagun. Welcome to the Akashvani program of Study IQ. Here you find important news from the examination standpoint. Before moving forward, I would like to tell you that you can join my Telegram channel for all the updates of Akashvani videos. Let's get started. National Commission for Scheduled Tribes The Constitutional Committee, National Commission for Scheduled Tribes or NCST has released a report, according to which the NCST is inactive for four years. It has not presented any report in the last four years. The reports that the Commission did not release have had the impact on tribal population from the Indira Sagar Polavaram project and displaced tribal's rehabilitation after the Raurkela steel plant special report. However, it has been learned that these reports have been finalized by NCST. The report are pending with the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Significantly, the Commission has to submit an annual report to the President. The President lays the report before each House of the Parliament. Let us tell you that NCST is a constitutional body. It has been constituted through Article 338A of the Constitution. This article was added to the Constitution by the 89 Amendment Act 2003. Presently, the Chairman of the Commission is Harsh Chauhan. In some cases, the Commission has the powers of a civil court. Calling and enforcing the attendance of any person from any part of India in these matters for evidence on affidavit if any document is required. Apart from this, for the demand of public record from any court and any such matter which the President may include by making a rule. Moving on to the next news. Deep Ocean Mission India is preparing to launch eight deep ocean gliders under the deep ocean mission. They'll be able to travel up to 3 to 4,000 km for 6 to 12 months at 6,000 meter depth of the ocean. Apart from this, preparations are also being made to launch manned submersible vehicles for depth up to 6,000 meters. Apart from all this, OceanSat 3 is also in the pipeline for launch next year. Let us tell you that the Deep Ocean Mission has been launched under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Its objective is to develop technology to obtain living and non-living resources from the deep sea. Now the next news. World Happiness Report 2022 The World Happiness Report 2022 has been released. Finland has remained the happiest country in the world for the fifth time in a row. It was followed by Denmark, Iceland, Switzerland and the Netherlands. The World Happiness Report is released by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. It has been released since 2012. The report is based on two themes. First, happiness which is estimated through opinion surveys. And second, the elements necessary for a good life are determined on the basis of the GDP of the countries, freedom of decision-making and life expectancy. It is worth mentioning that India has got 136th rank, whereas India was ranked 139th in the 2021 report. On the other hand, Afghanistan has got the status of the least happy country. Moving on to the last news. World First Carbon Border Tariff The European Union is preparing to introduce the world's first carbon border tariff. Through this, a tax will be imposed on the import of polluting products. The European Union will impose taxes on products such as steel, cement, fertilizers, aluminium and electricity from 2026. Its purpose is also to protect Europe from imports from those countries where the laws related to the environment are weak. The European Union has set a target of becoming climate neutral by 2050. Climate neutral means an economy that achieves a net zero status in the emission of greenhouse gases. To understand the importance of this news, let's look at a question asked by UPSC in the year 2017. 
the term digital single market strategy seen in the news refers to option A ASEAN option B BRICS option C EU and option D G20 write your answers in the comment section below so friends this was it for today we'll see you tomorrow with more such news thank you for watching